All right, so let's start. I'll take that over here. And start with that um, sketch on the front plane. I press N for normal view, P to hide those sketch planes. Um, start with a line tool, press Q to make that a construction geometry. And uh, that will serve as our axis for the revolve. And now let's go into the spline command here. We'll take the first one, spline. Connect that to the origin here. Go somewhat down here. And then up. Press escape to get out of the uh, spline point definition function. And now we will um, dimension those three points with its handles. You see those handles here? And the first thing, I'll press H and make that handle here horizontally here. Then um, the first dimension is 14 millimeters. I'll hide our constraint, my constraints here. Um, we can dimension those um, handles as well. Eight for that one. We got here the 14. Then a vertical dimension here, six. Then from that here, 28. A height here of 38. Then let's give an angular dimension to that handle here. Six degrees. A length dimension of 18 and we get our um, profile fully defined and now let's go into the revolve surface revolve new sure axis is that one yeah give that uh, now, thicken two millimeter, millimeters in each direction. And round, make a full round of the top face. I press that first face, that one second. And there we have a full round. Rename that cup and make that white. Um, keep that sketch visible. And now the next line for the grip or the handle. We could have um, sketched that and that very same sketch, but uh, I don't want to complicate things. And we'll start just another sketch on that same plane. Press N again. We could hide our cup for a moment. And um, go into our spline command, zoom in there, pick here, pick there, and pick there. And, oops, I'm still in the command, escape. I want to grab that handle. 
and start dimensioning. D is the shortcut for dimensioning. Here, 22. Angular dimension here, 48. Length of handle is 12. Um, we'll fix that in a moment. Um, dimension, angular dimension, 82. Um, vertical, uh, horizontal dimension, 42. Length of handle, 10. Vertical dimension, 6. And yeah, we got a vertical dimension here to the origin of 18. Everything's fully defined. I'll arrange my dimensions so it's easier to, to see. And exit that sketch. And now create a plane with a curve point. So that is the curve, that is the point. Accept that. And start a sketch on that plane. Um, a line like this. Yeah, let me press N to have a normal view at that. So make that construction and uh, that line with pressing Q construction geometry. Then go back to isometric. Make a midpoint relationship between that line and that point and give that a um, uh, length of six millimeters. Now we go into where the offset is, there's the slot command. We take that line and give it, here there's the handle for the dimensioning, a 4.8 diameter. Exit that, and we can hide that plane. And now let's go into the sweep command here. Sweep, take that region, take that path. Um, we can add that to our um, main body. So there we get the cup. Let's hide that sketch. And now let's fill the cup with uh, espresso. So um, we make a plane, offset that from the top plane at, well, what distance? Maybe 22. We can hide that plane, start a sketch on that plane, go here into the use um, project and take the intersection with that, with our body here. So we got that sketch line, we exit that sketch and go into the fill command, a surface fill. Take that edge, new body, 
All right. And now let's go into the enclose. And we take that surface, hide it for a moment, and um, take that face of our cup and keep the tools, accept that. So now we get those two um, parts. I renamed that espresso and give that some color, some espresso color, huh? And so now we got a view with uh, edges, shaded. We could uh, go into shade without edges, which might be, well, more appropriate. And um, that's it for our espresso cup plus espresso. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your fellow cat enthusiasts. Your support helps me create more awesome content for you. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Catamus and turn on notifications so you never miss out on my latest tutorials and tips. Let's keep learning and growing together. I love hearing from my community, so drop a comment below with your thoughts on this tutorial or any suggestions for future videos. I'm always looking for new ideas to help you master CAD. Happy designing and see you in the next tutorial.